If you're amidst an ant nuptial flight, and the queen elate may come in sight, there are some things to know, but calm your fright, cause Ants Canada's here to help you get it right. We've created a poem to answer some questions on caring for queens and some queen care suggestions, because a lot of you caught queens on ant hunting sessions, and for that we send you a warm congratulations. First keep in mind that the best situation is to capture a queen elate during ant copulation. This way you're certain there's insemination, and she'll give you a great colony due to her fertilization. Useless to you are the unfertilized queens, and since ant sex is determined by the number of genes, without a male sperm to complete the whole scheme, only male ants can be born from any virgin queen. So if the queen ant you catch gives birth to an egg which becomes a pupa with girth, and out comes a male elate as her very first, then it's impossible to make any colony work. If you find a queen elate with wings still attached, doesn't mean she's unfertilized, she's still a good catch. She may still have mated, and just hadn't detached, the pair of wings used when she was romantically matched. Also make sure you indeed have a queen. Males look more like wasps, with big eyes for the seeing. Smaller jaws, and sometimes gaster, shaped like a bean. Check Google Images to see what I mean. When you catch her, you must bottle her up, and transfer her into a proper setup. Ant Canada Formicarium, and you can't screw up, or in a test tube where her colony can start up. We recommend you house your queen ant solo. Even a quote-unquote polygynous species could end in sorrow. It's not worth the risk, and if you don't know, watch some of our videos on pleometrosis. Bobo! Lots of people keep their queen ants in the light. We at Ants Canada have found it sometimes too bright. For the queens who need peace and darkness just right in an undisturbed place or Ants Canada nest site. Plus having dark loving ants is really very smart because ants that are conditioned to like living in the dark are easier to migrate if they need a fresh start into a new nest by covering the glass part. During this time you don't need to give food. She has all the nourishment needed to raise her own brood. What's more important now is not spoiling her mood and offering her meals may just scare her, not good. If you want, you can offer her a tiny honey drop, created with a toothpick, cause a super huge plop can drown your queen ant, so just a tiny, tiny dot will be enough to fill up her tiny, tiny crop. Sometimes people like to feed their queen ants insects. Again, not necessary, as she has energy in her thorax. Plus, you don't want mold to grow and make things complex. She's a fasting queen ant, not a raging hungry T-Rex. The only exception are semi-claustral queens. They'll need a proper setup so they can go out when they need. To find food themselves, they hunt and they feed during the founding process above ground she'll be seen. Examples of queens that are semi-claustral kind are Pogonomermex, Myrmesia, and Myrmica queen finds. Check our FAQ ant database compiled by experienced ant minds to see if your queen needs food and special hunting time. Egg-laying times may take about 10 days, but sometimes a queen takes more than 10 days. Laying in the spring next year, sun ablaze, in the world of ant keeping, patience is key always. Keeping your queen 2 degrees warmer will cut the waiting time to much, much shorter. For quick growth from egg to full-grown daughter, simply have a heating cable touch one tiny corner. Try not to bother her, but watch her abdomen. In two weeks if it's ballooning, you know a family's happening. But don't worry too much if her butt isn't fattening, she still may be pregnant. Skinny queens, don't be chucking them. If you choose the test tube route, and the cotton gets moldy or water runs out, attach a new test tube for the ants to scout. Eventually they'll move in on their own, no doubt. Moving your colony into the new nest can happen at any stage, but we feel that it's best to wait for some workers so the risks are less, cause you won't have to touch them and make a big mess. Remember to hibernate your ants each year to give a break from egg laying to the queen you hold dear. Plus the cold weather will cause her to be eager to produce more eggs when warm weather draws near. Caring for a queen is easier than you think. With these neat tips you'll have a colony in a blink. We know a lack of confidence will soon begin to shrink. With AntsCanada.com, need help? Click the link. We truly hope this poem has been of assistance at unsolving mysteries and answering your questions. Remember, if you fail, reach for ant-like persistence. 
Love your pet ants, and ant love will go the distance. The end. Ants Canada, Ants Canada All original from the carrier Ants Canada, Ants Canada